this new album we had the chance to start from scratch. That means blank paper, new band members or old band members coming back, new producer, new record label, everything starts from zero. I feel that the new songs are like the most accessible songs that we have written so far. Like they're easier to get into, I guess, than a lot of the older material, but without sacrificing any of the technicality or the musicality that we went for on the older album. They want me to bring the pop in there. <laughs> This is what I call a musician's band. There were other people who play music, like admire them and look up to and listen to and get very fascinated how well they play. And maybe now they go into a direction to be a little bit more mainstream, a little bit. We, we always did a lot of like crazy guitar stuff and it was a lot of musicians in our fan audience. And I think those people will not be disappointed when they hear the new album because there's still lots of over the top going on. Actually, I think there's more solos on this album than there's on any of the previous ones and it contains some of the fastest material that we have written so far. But I also think at the same time that the new songs are a lot more accessible and a lot easier to catch. And they're not necessarily music that would only appeal to musicians. It's more mixed now. They were always sort of like progressive tech death. But this new stuff is, Stefan calls it best of metal. So it's more, you know, they take a little bit of Morbid Angel, a little bit of Megadeth. You know, it's not as niched, maybe. It's, it's more rounded metal sound. I think it's really cool. And I think this album is the most compact summary of our influences that we have as a band. With Obscura, we always mix different genres. On the one hand, the, the rather technical US bands, Atheist, Cynic, Death. On the other side, it was always a very melodic approach. And I think this came through the, all the albums that has been released in the early 90s we grew up with, like At The Gates, Dissection, In Flames and all that. So what we wanted to do with the new album is underlining this melodic approach a little bit since the previous album has been extremely extremely technical and focusing only on the ability what you can do as a musician so with the new album and the two returning members that have been in the band already i wanted to alter this a little bit to see what this band can do aside the technical it's very technical for sure not many band can reach their level of performance crazy stuff going on all the time <laughs> I think there's quite a huge variety of influences on this album. I think there's quite some surprises for people, but I also think that people especially who liked like the Cosmogenesis era of the band will not be disappointed with this album, even though we really didn't go for Cosmogenesis part two. The band has a career of almost 20 years, so we have to rebuild everything here and then. So we don't want to repeat ourselves. At the same time, we have to reincarnate the band without leaving all signature sounds and the outlines that builds this band behind us. So we have to keep that, at the same time we bring up something new. So personally I feel like this is the strongest album that we have made so far. I think the best way to go as a musician is to follow your heart and do exactly what you want to do. And of course musicians always say the upcoming album is the best and that's what you always think. But uh, what we did this time, I mean, I really feel we did exactly what we wanted to do. Every musician put his part in. It never felt forced at any point. We could have easily done two albums in a row because the ideas just kept coming. And to me, this is just a sign that you're definitely on the right track.
new album contains 11 songs. Each song on his own is demanding, exciting and will work in a live situation. It's really extreme, complex, it's technical and progressive. But it sounds 100% like Obscura and I think this came through the elements of each individual musician that they brought to the table. A valediction shows each character of the musicians that are performing on this record. The entire album is not about showing off, it's about music and musicality itself, about the compositions, arrangements, digestible music, but at the same time keeping, you know, the spicy complexity we always deliver in our albums. So somewhere we have two worlds we combine in this new album. And there are a lot of Easter eggs and a lot of, lot of surprises. And this, this combination makes this album so special for me. I'm a melody guy. <laughs> if I listen to a band like Dream Theater, I'm listening to musician skills. I don't listen to the songs, if you understand what I mean. But if you take a Britney Spears song, then you're listening to the melody that's going on. And I think this is uh, not Britney Spears, of course, but... <laughs>